Hey you guys and welcome back to Rame's game. Today we are taking a look at the Monster Hunter World beta thing going on. We are recording this in the worst way possible. The absolute worst way possible. Uh, this is using PS4 Remote Play. So, by my own internet I am being connected to my PlayStation. That is less than eight feet away, but whatever. So quality may vary. Uh, I don't care. I've never played Monster Hunter of any kind. I've always wanted to, but it's never been something that I went out of my way to play, even though I have owned most Nintendo consoles. I just never got into the handheld shit, and that's primarily what it was on. We're going to do some beginner quest. I don't really know what's going on. There might be a little bit of lag. More noticeable for me than you, but it might affect gameplay. Just because, depending on how my internet is doing, depends on how the connection to this goes, which is really stupid. It's practically hooked directly up to my uh, computer. But we have a Palico, who is a Calico. I named it Ginger, because it's a Calico. My cat is blah blah blah. Anyways, and I'm playing as Bwah. B-W-U-H. All of this will reset as soon as I close. Well, there you go. Uh, Windows 10 is ready to update some bullshit. Uh, just remind me tomorrow. Thank you. We're doing a display capture uh, for my monitor because full screen capture would not work. Whatever. It's going to depart. Start playing. See what this game's all about. I haven't watched any videos on this. We'll see if I edit that out. I haven't watched any videos. Ooh. We've received eyewitness reports of our target, the great Jagras, roaming around these parts. So let's get right to it. Open up your map. So right off the bat, it looks a little bit weird. I'm actually going to put my glasses back on. I have it set for graphics, but because we are playing this on the internet, it can swap up and down between 1080 to 720 and all that, whatever it feels like. So this here is our current location. Cool. After a feast, the great Jagras can be found waddling back to its nest, scraping its big belly along the ground. That's awesome. Try heading over to this area here and search for any clues it may have left behind. Mm, Once you've what area? It down, go and put a three-star hurtin' on it. Oh, and one more thing. You're being timed. Why? Also, why is my weapon so big? Ooh, this game feels a little bit sluggish. Like, the character's movements just, uh, just feel heavy. Scout flies have found something. Go get a closer look. Hit what? Oh, hey, there's a thing. Apparently, X or Circle worked on that. I don't pretend to understand. So, X is to evade. Draw weapon. The switch axe has two forms, axe and sword. You can power up the sword attacks by injecting them with file energy. Oh, okay, no, X didn't work. It's just I crouched at the exact time that I hit the other one. Alright, we're going to investigate the footprints. Great. The scout flies have locked onto the scent of the monster. Be on the lookout for more tracks or traces. So the closest thing to Monster Hunter PC currently has until Monster Hunter Worlds uh, comes out on PC at some point in 2018 is God Eater and God Eater 2. I've played God Eater 2. It would have ended up on the channel, except there was a few issues with it. But 
we won't talk about that too much. You can use it to hit things that are far away. Cool. Got some kind of auto targeting thing going on. Thanks, because I'm a console pleb and I can't use my uh I can't use my mouse. Who do I need to kill? The scout flies have picked up the monster's trail. Follow nice. the green light they leave behind. So I'd love to know why we have uh, scout firefly things. But it appears that we're not going to Did it, like, drag its butt along the floor, too? Like, the ground? If you follow the scout flies to your target, you'll locate it in no time. I mean, we're going, like, two feet at a time here. Do I need to, like, track every single thing that I find? This is a very blind, a very first impressions kind of demo thing. This is a beta, but it's essentially just a demo. Just a reminder. I don't even know if I'm allowed to play it. I assume because people have uploaded it, like, it's totally fine. And that there are no special permissions. Or EULA is anything to worry about. I mean, we're probably getting points or XP or something for doing all these. So, I'd like to assume that it matters. I could do with editing the FOV, but that's not available. When you started the game, you got some options, whether or not you wanted to... Oh, hey, there's the thing we need to kill. Now, if you have a PS4 Pro... You gave the option to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Okay, you know what you have to do. Get in there and do your stuff. The scout flies will hide once the fight breaks out. Don't forget that. Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on. I mean, I'm having a hard time being convinced about this combat right now. Again, it could be affected because the game in single player has to be connected to the internet. I don't know if that's limited to the... The, uh, the beta or anything. Why would you just put the weapon away? Like, are you kidding me? Sorry, R1. Why did you just put it away? It told me to hit R1. So I hit R1. Okay, so I keep hitting square. Which is apparently doing other things. And I also keep getting a uh, hit. Which is... Less than ideal. I think the uh... X to dodge is really stupid. That monster is really mad now. Be ready for some vicious attacks. I'm having a hard time telling when I'm hitting or like I would love to make circle dodge or something and like X to attack. That would just make sense. Chances are 
it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. Okay. Can we just kill it already? Nice of it just to uh, stand there and do absolutely nothing. All right, you completed the quest. Congrats. Okay. I mean, might as well needlessly kill other things. I think because I was in combat, it was uh, screwing things up a little bit. I mean, that was interesting. It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to controls. I don't like the uh, triangle circle thing. Which, for those of you who are like Xbox fanboys, not that I care either way, that's why it'd be. So it took seven minutes to do. That's awesome. That's cool. That's what I was gonna say, but there you go. You can pre-order this game. Uh, again, it's on consoles. Eventually coming to uh, PC sometime. Yeah, look at this. It's uh, it's really begging you to pre-order. How about no? I'm not playing a demo for you to decide whether or not I purchase it or not. Uh, it could be the greatest game in the world. I really try not to support pre-orders anymore. That includes the physical ones. But yeah, because this is a demo, it's just going to keep returning us to the main menu and asking us questions. Again, as soon as we shut off the system, all of our stuff gets reset, apparently, according to the the warning that came up when we started the game. We'll do this quest, and then we'll call it there. I mean, we've got a bunch of equipment that gave us some stuff. I don't necessarily think we got any of that. We can always take off our equipment if we felt like it for whatever reason. I'm not going to leave the quest. We're just going to depart, see what it has to do for us, and then we're going to call it there. I don't want to spend too much time on this game demo thing. Just wanted to take a look at it, and I figured, hey, I'd see what the worst quality video I could probably release is if I was trying to. Remote play is not a good option, but... We've received eyewitness oh. reports of our target roaming around these parts. So when you got, like, dry skin and stuff, like, blankets and foam. So let's get right to it. Open like, to rip mouth. it off. I'm just going to leave it at that. That hurt. I want to move my headphones. All right, force me to open the map. This here is our current location. Okay. Try heading over to this area here and search for any clues it may have left behind. If you so, ever get lost, consult your map. Obviously, the single player is going to be a lot different than this. This is like, hey, we have a mission. Let's treat you like you've never played this game before, even though you've already completed a mission. And, uh, you know, baby you along the way. I actually really just wanted to kill this deer thing. Okay, so R1 is to sheath. 
Hey, look, okay. we're playing Far Cry 5. Take those parts you carved back to base and use them to upgrade your gear or craft something new. So we're looking for uh, clues and shit. Uh, poop piles. Footprints, mainly. I don't know if there's actually poop piles, but I don't see why not. We're apparently hot on its trail because these flies are being annoying. Which means we're probably doing what the game wants us to. Oh my god. Okay, please stop. This plant's leaves store a great amount of water. A component for making water. El <laughs> I can't. It's like 2 a.m. As it always is, apparently. And, uh... I don't have it in me to be serious. I'm probably overly cynical. Like in a very not funny, kind of moany, complainy kind of way. And we're playing a game I don't understand. A demo. Sorry, a demo. Which apparently in no way reflects the retail version. Or whatever the warning screen was. That's a good sign. Here's a demo, which is a beta. A dead demo. But the retail version is going to be way different. Seems useful. I get that they don't want to give everything away, but... <sighs> Let's try not to make it too different from um, the product, otherwise... Uh, some misinformation there. That'd be like test driving. I don't know, a Kia or some Ford vehicle. And you go to buy what you thought was the same thing. Sorry, we got some douchebags. You don't want to take hits like that head on. Sorry, I, I keep trying to use um the same goddamn keys every time. I went to dodge that. And that. Hey. No. No, can we lock on to the big thing? Did we kill it? Thinking we killed it. I want to make sure we cut him up. Before we miss our opportunity. Why can't I hit you? It's kind of weird. Can I ride you? It's acting like it's charmed, and I don't understand. How goes the exploring? Try to piece together the monster's trail. Then let the scout flies show you the way. So... I take some serious issues with this game's camera. I have, like, four times tried to lock on. not letting me, so I'm just getting my ass kicked. If 
if there's uh, some secret and also a way to like fucking stop putting my weapon away the moment I'm not in combat for actually two seconds even though this is all in combat then somebody should let me know But we're cutting him up just for the experience of doing so. It's not like we're going to take all these materials back or anything. Looks like I might be able to cut them up more than once, too. Or maybe we just killed four of them. Guys, I don't know. Can I cut these guys up, too? It just got really hot in here. I see some things leading us up here. Let's go up here. Can I climb that? Yeah. I was about to say no, of course I can't, but I can. Neat. Are these friends? Oh, that's cute. Our new Grimalkine. Sure. They're coming with us. And I'm slapping this tree with a... With a pickaxe. Yeah, I mean, I definitely would not pre-order this game. Again, um, part of my experience may just be lag caused by, like, input lag specifically. Ooh, that thing's big. Oh, now you want to lock on, huh? Can I just follow it and, like... Do these footprints. Like, is that a thing I could just do? I don't trust those. Mew can count on me. Shouldn't it be Mew can cat on me? I don't know, I feel like if we're going to do cat puns, we should really just double down on them. Why am I not, like, actually killing my prey? Well, first of all, it's huge. Second, there's a lot of other things I might accidentally punch around here. Yeah, so you can't run with your weapon out. That's a complaint I have. This tail just goes straight through me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it did. Yay, console game. Alright, whatever. Seems like a good spot as any. Yo. So it's got a charge do uh, doohickey. Your weapon is losing its sharpness. Create some distance and then use a whetstone. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. What? The health booster lets you place a smoke spike that gradually restores your health when you stand in its smoke. Seems like a, a really good time. Okay, it looks like it worked.
It also seems like I really screwed that up. I tried to dodge that, just so we're clear. And it's like pooping all over us. Seems like you might be able to get it to ram into these things. Ouch. And also me. And if you get it to ram into an object, it seems to stun it. Okay, my character just went uh, full retard for a second. Do I have some kind of stamina that the game never bothered to tell me about? Look out, your health is low. Keep your okay. And use a potion. There was absolutely no dodging that because the game wouldn't stop what it was doing. Let's see if I can't get it to run into this. I healed, so that's cool. What the fuck, dude? Oh, thanks. Camera. Let's just randomly target things. Taking hits like that repeatedly will stun you. Meaning you won't be able to move. Game, I can't even tell when I'm getting hit. So don't talk to me about getting hit. And like, of course, my character puts the fucking weapon away. Like, let's not keep it out for the full fight. Let's just put it away. So when you go to use buttons. Your weapons put away. And then this guy like slid up the hill into whatever he's doing. The monster is on the move. Use the scout flies as a guide as you go after it. Okay. I just slide down a hill. Of course I did because every game has to be Breath of the Wild. You can use jump attacks to mount monsters. Oh cool. Jump attacks, huh? Yeah, you do that wiggle, and of course, my character puts the fucking weapon away. Like, I think that's my biggest complaint. I don't understand why some of these things are happening. Like, why can't I cancel? Can we just drink the potion, please? Like, why can't I cancel whatever bullshit attack I'm doing? And... Like, actually dodge? Oh no, it roared. I better cover my ears now that I've already taken the sound into my ear holes. I don't even know why it's turning orange. All I know is I need to not get hit. I hit circle instead of X, because of course I did. I asked it to dodge, but there was there was no dodge. Okay, now I'm upsetty spaghetti. But 
better use my Estus Flask. Because why not? This guy's rolling around in the mud. He itches a little bit. Nice. And immediately I need earplugs because his roar is upsetting my character. So, like, basically only hit the button once if you're going to do anything other than attack because they queue up and good luck fucking stopping it. Is this whole thing just one big tutorial? Yeah. Yeah, I really... You're paralyzed. You'll have to wait for it to wear off. Not that you have a choice. So this whole fight is a, a 10 minute. We're going to prolong everything you do. We're going to stun you. We're going to paralyze you. Oh wait, you have a time limit. Let's do whatever we can to make sure that you are slowed down. That's what this feels like. All right. Just being honest. I mean, I can't help it that it came here. Monsters are fighting each other? Maybe we can use this to our advantage. Okay, the monster's tight. Now's your chance to deal some serious damage. Okay. Ugh, you're stuck in the muck. Get yourself out of that gunk before you do anything else. Some lizard thing is attacking me. My character put its weapon away because I think I've made it clear that my character doesn't like having your fucking weapon out, and that's the whole point of this game. All right, let's put it away so we can chase after it. Can we just hug it? No, no, let's let's get stuck into an attack queue. Did it molt? Is that what happened here? No. Nothing that cool. Let's let's every second attack just bounce off of it. Thank you for turning so I could hit this other dude. Even though my character just refuses to to hit it two feet away from it with a weapon that spans about 12 plus feet. Nice, that was that was cool. All right, we're done here. So all of that was button mashing, uh, delays, more delays, more delays because you had to keep chasing the fucking monster. There was nothing fun about that, nothing at all. Uh, your character puts the with the weapon away. Two seconds out of combat, even though the whole thing is active fucking combat, because something is actively trying to kill you. Uh, R one in the middle of a fight that you use to run puts your weapon away so you can't run you have to rely completely on that evade thing if you haven't queued up enough attacks 
and there's no obvious way to cancel your attacks. So, you know, I'm going to have to try this directly on the PS4, but I've never had like crazy input lag issues with other games that I've played, and I do play a few games strictly on uh, the whole remote play thing, just even casually, so I can have YouTube immediately on my next screen, and I can turn off the big break TV and just play on my normal monitors. I do that quite a bit. So that was just tilting and not fun. And it's going to try to sell it to me again. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive, which I'm not. Uh, okay, no, let's not say that I'm not positive. I'm just really... Sure, let's just hit yes on accident. Uh, there you go. So there's the demo. It probably just deleted any progress that I made because... Uh, nope, it kept the application open. That's nice. Ugh. I feel like Monster Hunter Worlds is going to be one of those things where they're like, hey, all that stuff that worked on, like, handheld, because that's all this game was, was like the DSs and stuff, as far as I know. I'm sorry if it was on the Wii, no one cares about it. But, uh, they're going to find a way to fuck it up, especially since it's going to be coming to, uh, to PC, so I wish it the best. But, if this is any way representative of the the final product, I won't be playing it. It's clunky, it's sluggish, it's... Those fighting mechanics just sucked. Just absolute garbage. And then, multiple types of radial menus that you can immediately switch off of on accident. That was cool. And of course you have your Estus Flask healing mechanic kind of thing. How that big green orb slams into you and you're stuck in animation. Taking like infinite amount of... Oh, I'm not going to say it's hard. It's artificial difficulty. You put 10 minutes on a mission that constantly slows you down. That is artificial difficulty. Just to make you spend longer in the game. Bring on the microtransactions. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Ugh.